Hello Aries, welcome to my channel Being You Now. This is where I do daily Aries and all signs reading. Please keep in mind that energy is fluid, so um, gender and roles may be reversed. We are working with energy and energy can be fluid. Um, if you would like a personal reading, please check out the link below. For more information, I will pop it in the description box for you to um, have a look. And um, thank you for supporting me, my channel, with all your likes, subscribes and comments. That means a lot to me. So let's get into it. Today I am pulling out what does Aries need to know right now. Guidance for Aries today. And happy birthday Aries for those celebrating their birthday tomorrow. It's already the 20th here in Australia. So 21st is when the Aries season starts. So happy early birthday to dear Aries. My birthday is not till April, so. But I am looking forward to the Aries season. And also, tomorrow is the new moon. So the 21st of March is when we have the new moon in Aries. So wonderful time to set intentions and get those manifestations into motion. Let's see if any other card wants to pop out. Alrighty, let's have a look. What does Aries need to know? So the first card we have here is the Two of Wands. I love this card. I feel like a lot of you, as you coming into the Aries season, you are focusing on what, what lies ahead, what lies beyond what you see right now. It's not, um, the Three of Wands is when the ships are coming in. Here, the, you can't see the ships. So you may be working at something and you may not have seen the fruits of your labor or any, any early sprouting, so to speak. But this is in the traditional deck, you see a person holding the world. So some of you could be thinking of also travel, thinking of taking a journey, perhaps going and traveling somewhere for your holidays. If you are, please let me know in comments. I love travel. Um, and now that things are normalizing all over the world, um, it is a great time to be able to take advantage and connect with your loved ones because I know I could not see my family for a very long time with um, what was happening the last few years. Anyway, so your guidance here, it says make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. I'm also picking up the energy of wanting to connect with like-minded people here. So it's a great time to collaborate or perhaps um, join groups and communities um, or even meetups. And this is very, very specific. It may not, not apply to everyone is um, to connect with like minded people who share the same vision because you may your creativity may. It's almost like tending to your creativity and inspiration and ideas. You may get more information. You may get new inspiration. You may get um, I, I get this fire in your belly. Because if you are someone, I feel this for some of you, that if you feel that you don't know all the information or you don't know certain aspects of things, being around like-minded people will really help you to propel and move forward. So make, make bold and ambitious choices and decisions. I do apologize for background noise. Um, looks like my neighbor has some machinery going and it wasn't there when I started the reading. So um, I do apologize for that. I love this. The Empress. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful, beautiful card. And here she's embodying the Archangel Gabriel energy. So Archangel Gabriel is all about communication, speaking, writing. Um, it's all about sharing your vision. And here also, um, it's about taking action. It's not just ha about having the vision and just thinking about it. It's about actualizing actualizing and putting things into motion to really achieve your heart's truest desires. Oh my goodness, I love this. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So I also feel like some of you, as you're coming closer and closer to your season, you will feel like you want to upgrade your wardrobe. I know I want to declutter. I can't wait to get rid of some things. <laughs> So, you know, some of you might be doing that as well. You probably are tired of certain things and you're like, yep, I need to get rid of certain energy. 
Um, so you might be upgrading your wardrobe. You might be getting, you know, a different style hair color or hairstyle. Uh, you might be changing a few things and really feeling luxurious, even if it's not spending a lot of money. Just making even small changes may really do ju and spruce you up in terms of your energy levels and vitality and just make you feel more confident and that real you know the empress energy is all about that feminine luxe luxurious abundant and just by the virtue of you making a few changes you may be upgrading your wardrobe you know you might now with seasons changing it's time here for me to reassess you know well summer's now <laughs> coming to an end we are into autumn well Summer has ended, but we've still had some sunny days. And um, where I live, the weather is very unpredictable. So, you know, you may be having the same sort of um, conversation within your mind. So it's a great time to really release and let go of the old energy so you can welcome what's coming. And for some of you, you may be feeling especially creative. I'm getting this vision, and this may not apply to everyone, about dancing, about letting your hair down, about really moving your body and as I'm saying this you can't see me but I'm actually you know I'm getting guided from spirit to like move and sway and shift that energy and really get into your sensuality and sexuality male or female it's about connecting so regardless of whether you're male or female it's about embracing the aspect all aspects of you is what this empress energy is saying to me so I really love that for you oh my goodness I love these cards like seriously another major arcana the magician has popped up so you are here in your element Aries this is about you creating creating your reality this is this is manifestation on steroids if I can say that this is you having all the tools and resources you already have all the tools and resources so you are in a very very powerful and potent time right now if you haven't watched watched it yet go check out the new moon um new moon ritual that i'm doing for the new moon in aries tomorrow and if you'd like to be part of that follow that video and comment in that video not here but this is very much your powers are heightened what i'm getting from spirit is your powers at your manifestation and creative powers are heightened at this moment work with these energies of the new moon amplify them bring them to the now reality you know this is not about sometime in the future type thing you at the moment if you're so potent your energy is so potent you have the power to manifest and create and bring to life your reality it says you can manifest the life you want there you go what you need will magically appear successful beginnings oh my goodness i love this for the aries collective i'm super excited oh my gosh we've got one two five cards and we've already got three major arcanas so the cha chariot this is the time you charging forward you are moving forward there is no stopping you you are unstoppable aries you are unstoppable you are unstoppable in your manifestations in your creations in terms of calling in the abundance and the resources so if you have been going through a period of time where you, you have felt stuck in terms of finances and resources I strongly get to get this energy that the wheels are turning it's almost like the wheel of fortune the wheels are turning in your favor and it's all systems go for you Aries the chariot is moving forward and taking your vision and bringing it to light with the magician card here as well Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. Amazing time also for new jobs, for promotions, for um, looking for new jobs. So if you have been feeling that stuck and stalemate energy, now's the time to shake that off and move forward. Loving it. The King of Gabriel, the King of Wands, Aries, this is your energy. So again, with the chariot, we have um, the cancer energy. So you may be working or dealing with cancer, but I'm really picking up. This is for you, Aries. This reading is all about you and the energies that you are embodying to move and propel forward. So here with the King of Gabriel, which is the King of Wands energy, this is your energy, Aries. 
could also be another fire sign, but I really feel like you are coming into your power. You are stepping in, you are feeling, you are very much feeling like this King of Wands, really motivated. I feel like some of you in the past may have um, been in hermit mode or retreat mode, and now the fire is back in the belly. You are ready to take action. For some of you, I also feel like you're looking after your physical self, your physical health, your appearance. I'm really getting that sense that, you know, particularly, I don't know about you, but for me, as I'm coming closer and closer to my birthday, my birthday is not till April. I'm an Aries as well, which is why I do these readings daily. I love them. So for me, I know when I'm coming to it closer and closer to my birthday, there's certain goals that I set in motion before I even get to my birthday. And if, you know, a lot of it is also to do with my physical health, my emotional health, my mental health, all areas, you know, everything, my long-term vision goals. It's almost like another reset button. It's not just waiting for the 1st of January to focus on my goals. It's about using my birthday season and my birthday as a way to say, okay, what do I really truly want? And what gives me joy and happiness? So here, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. So I feel like for some of you, this is a big call to action to step into that leadership. Sometimes we can get really bogged down into details and doing all the other things, but the very thing that we want to do. So I feel like this card is saying that focus, focus on the bigger, broader picture. What is your vision? What do you really want? Can somebody else help you? You know, and again, you have the two of Gabriel, which is very much the I said, you, you may be thinking of calibrating, you may be thinking of joining community groups, so you may be thinking of being with others that really truly understand you. So um, there you have it, Aries. It's time to step into your power because, hey, there you are, King of Gabriel. You are the magician. Now create that magic so that you can move forward, chariot energy, and be the empress and have all the goodness, luxury, abundance, resources at your disposal. There you have it, Aries. Thank you for joining me and I will see you at the next one.